recognized when I was young, I recognized like, you know, some, like most of my friends, their fathers aren't even around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So my dad is being a father to these other kids. So why would I, why should I be jealous or why should I be upset? That's humbling. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a humbling experience. And my mother was around anyways. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, he, he didn't formally educate me or anything. Like, he literally always, the, 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 I mean, he's taught me a lot of things, but the two things I remember for the most part was, you know, he always said, you never start a fight. That's, the, I remember, that. you never start a fight. But if someone hits you, kill them. That's what he told me. He said, it doesn't matter. He's like, I'll take the blame for the murder. He's like, but if someone touches you, they're trying to hurt you. If they're trying to hurt you, they're trying to kill you. If they're trying to kill you, you don't need to die. So you need to kill them first. And that's just kind of the mentality I always had. I kind of adopt that into my music. Like when people start talking shit or whatever, I always go into like that phase. Like if you're trying to talk shit about me, you're trying to hurt my image. You're trying to hurt my image. You're trying to kill my image. If you're trying to kill my image. I got to kill your image first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or your, or your respect and your credibility. <laughs> so that's the first thing he taught me. The second thing he taught me was, you know, when you meet a woman, it doesn't matter who she is, it could be, you know, this chick you see on the street, your grandma, it could be a teacher, anybody. You always put a woman up here, he put his hand above his head, and he said, and let her work her way up and down. You know what I'm saying? Because she's gonna show you who she is, but you give her the respect that she deserves. And then as you go along and you know progress with her in any way, I mean, this could be any relationship, she's gonna show you whether she's a queen, whether she's just a lady, whether she's just a woman, whether she's a, a skank, whether she's a prostitute, whether she, anything she is, she's gonna show you who she is. But there's no reason that you start her off at the bottom or you treat her off like she's at the bottom. And I always, I, I took that to heart, you know what I'm saying? I got three sisters and, and I grew up with my niece. She's very, she's around the same age as me. So, <clears throat> I mean, those, those are two major things that stood out of my head from when my father taught me. But going forward now, it's like, you know, I saw what he was trying to do when he was spending all those days out here with his kids, trying to get them to learn shit, trying to, not even learn shit, to just accept learning, you know what I'm saying? That's the hardest part of the people in this neighborhood. We don't want to accept the knowledge or, or the fact that we can obtain the knowledge. We just want the knowledge or we don't want it at all, you know what I'm saying? Ignorance is bliss to, to